same time, same place next year. Then you may win this battle, but you'll never win the war. Better to have fought and lost than never have fought and lost. I ain't wanting to. Better to have the Emmy nominated song fought and lost from the award winning series T Ted Lasso of course playing now on Apple TV plus I don't think we need any introduction for Ted Lasso you know Jason Sudeikis playing the small time college football coach you know hired to hire the uh, coach the professional soccer team with no experience but I'm excited to welcome to the show today Sam Ryder who's actually behind that song and also Declan Lowney who's the director of two of the episodes in season three including the finale. Gentlemen, welcome to the show. How are you? Hey, you. what's up? How's Good it going? Here. It, is, it is going well. Okay, first I want to talk a little bit about that song. Sam, I can only imagine uh, being or, or tapped to be a part of Ted Lasso. Explain the process. Did you write this song for this series or did they hear this song and think it would be perfect? Which either way, let's be honest, would be such a wonderful compliment and very deserving. <laughs> Well, it's funny you say that Ted was hired with no experience uh, because I was kind of done uh, <laughs> as the same because I'd never had a, a song that I'd written been uh, used for a TV show before. So I'm sat here uh, the first time having uh, experienced that and being stoked to be alongside Declan and this amazing cast and this this team behind such a glorious TV show. So, um, oh yeah, and there's Emmy nominations involved. So we're all stoked here. <laughs> <laughs> I would say so. Uh, what is it? Uh, 21 Emmy Award nominations, including song of yours, which is pretty exciting and also outstanding comedy series. Uh, you know, give us an idea when you are involved with a show like this. I mean, did you feel that this meaning goes with Ted Lasso? Because if people had never seen Ted Lasso, I always describe it as the most uplifting show, the most up, the most show that will make you feel good no matter what mood you are in. Is that something that you thought of when you were putting the song together originally? Uh, so when when I was writing the song, I had I'd yet to even watch Ted Lasso. I've, I'd heard of it and I'd heard nothing but amazing things. So I wanted to save it until I had some time off to watch at home. Uh, on a big screen rather than sort of, you know, on an iPad on a flight every now and then. I wanted to, you know, give it the attention that seemingly it so deserved. And now having watched it and binged it from top to bottom, it does deserve it. It's, it's amazing. And uh, I'm just glad the song worked in it because, like I said, I wrote it with my friends, Jamie and Tom, having not seen a single scene. <laughs> um, but th but the, the, the amazing thing about the show is it, it, it has such home truths and, and these core values of, of the human spirit that the song works for this because I wrote it um, based on my experience of being a musician that's, believe me, failed way more times than <laughs> succeeded. And um, so many of us can relate to that. And, uh, but it's about, you know, being on your path to chasing this dream, regardless of the setbacks, the knockbacks and the, uh, the near misses. And if you can do that, if you can keep yourself in the fight, then it then success is just inevitable it has to happen but you you can't give up and having now seen the show that that's what ted is he's just he's unstoppable he's an unstoppable force of of optimism and positivity and how much of that could we use on this planet, you know? Oh, for sure. That's it. I, you, you said it so wonderfully. And Declan, I want to get you involved here. Being tapped to direct not just episodes of a show that had such buzz around it, let alone these 21 Emmy noms, and then being able to direct the finale. Did it have a different feel on set for you? Um, no, I mean, there was a definitely a sense from uh, all the cast who were a lot of the time, we, you know, as the show, as we filmed episode 12, we were shooting people's last days. And when somebody has their last day on the show, they always get a, a sort of a, a warm clap and a send off. But that was happening more and more frequently as they got toward the end. And it was really heartbreaking. You know, people were genuinely in bits leaving the show. I remember the day Juno filmed her last scene. And I mean, there wasn't a dry eye in the place. Mm -hmm. You know, she was in bits, but so was everybody else. It was very tough to say goodbye. It's a very close family unit.
and we've only got a few seconds left. What do you say to those people, including my co-host who's actually sitting here beside me, who's yet to watch the series Ted Lasso? Declan, I would love to get your take in only a few seconds. Get a subscription to Apple TV Plus to start watching it today. <laughs> you can always leave after a month and you've seen the whole 34 episodes by then. <laughs> Great job. And he even understands time cues <laughs> like a director does. Gentlemen, best of luck with the Emmy nominations. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Peace. Bye. <laughs>